Welcome to SRI's first ever new home showcase of 2023. My name is Ainsley and this is Ken Lo, our managing partner of SRI. Today we're here at Terra Hill, a freehold luxury development located in District 5, right at the doorstep of Singapore's largest transformation, the Greater Southern Waterfront. It is proudly developed by Hoi Hub and Sunway, so do share a little bit more. So I think this is a very strong combination between two very established developers. Their JV partnership has actually developed 15 projects with more than no, okay. 8,000 quality homes. Hoi Hub Realty, as we know, is one of Singapore's most established developers. Sure. Yep. They've been founded since 1983 and over the past 40 years, they have won more than 25 property awards. Mm -hmm. So they have completed a very diversified portfolio of private condominiums, landed housing, cluster strata housing, executive condominiums mm -hmm. and mixed-use commercial developments. Yep. Their partner, on the other hand, Sunway Developments, is a subsidiary of a listed Malaysia real estate conglomerate. Oh, okay. Yep. And they are also one of the top leading developers in Malaysia. Over the past decade, they have been awarded the top 10, top 10? property developer nice. in Malaysia. And they have a very strong overseas presence in Singapore, mm. China, Australia, UK, Vietnam and Cambodia. Very nice. So early on, we mentioned it's right at the doorstep of Greater Southern Waterfront. Let's find out where exactly is it located at. Let's go. So we're here in the location map. Super exciting stuff happening right here. Can do share with us a little bit more about all the exciting developments that we can expect right here at Terra Hill. Terra Hill is located in a very superior location within Pas Panjang. Yeah. Uh, as you can see from the map, we are actually back by the southern ridges, where at the back of the development, you get the hills of Kenridge Park and Hot Park. Mm -hmm. I think it's very suitable for nature lovers and families who love their walks and runs in the, in the mornings and their evenings because it's just at your doorstep. Secondly, you can see that Terra Hill is located and surrounded by some of Singapore's most important business nodes, such as your tech area, the One North, also surrounded by Science Park 1 and 2, National University of Singapore, yep. NUS, and also NUH, um, the hospital. Right, so all the way to Alexandra Techno Park and Maple Tree Business City, where you have a lot of big businesses and names, companies that are all surrounding this area. So I think it's very suitable for people who are working in these areas. At the same time, potential tenants that may be working in this area who wants to live near here. And of course, the most important one is we are just located about 350 meters away from Pasimajang MRT Station, just less than four minutes walk. And that is also the gateway to Singapore's largest transformation, the Greater Southern Waterfront. So Ken, early on you mentioned about the southern regions, the back part is the park, the front part is the sea. Is that a good feng shui attribute that people should be looking out for? Yeah, actually, if you're a feng shui lover, yeah. you would definitely appreciate this location because you can't get any closer to a hill backing uh, okay. from your development. And you're just less than 400 meters away from the sea. From sea, well. right? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so feng shui lovers, that's the tip for you. Uh, next thing, what's so exciting about the whole Greater Southern Waterfront? So much talk about that. So I think over the past years of the master plan, we always hear about regional centres. But what we want to know is that other than the regional centres, the government is placing a lot of emphasis and focus on both the coastline of Singapore, the northern part, which is on North Coast Innovation Corridor. We have spoken about that in the last yeah. few videos. Greater Southern Waterfront is the transformation of the entire southern coastline of Singapore and it spans across more than 2,000 hectares of land, which is the largest by far as compared to any other developments in Singapore. It's slated to be six times the size of Marina Bay, which is also part of the Greater Southern Waterfront. Yeah. And they are estimating more than 20 million square feet of commercial spaces with a lot of waterfront residential coming up and a lot of retail, FMB. As a resident in Terra Hill, I just can't imagine witnessing the entire transformation unfold from my home. It's just within 400 meters away and you can see how the whole place transformed. And if you look at some of the perspective of the pots, you can already imagine how big this entire transformation would be. And I think the lifestyle within Pas Banjang and residents in Terra Hill would change largely, improve a lot positively with a lot more amenities, more vibrancy that will be coming up in this area. So the excitement is huge. Well, I can tell that Ken is very excited now. So, for the past 10 years, I also do understand that there are no new launches in Pasir Panjang. Now that we are expecting Terra Hill, um, share with us a little bit more about how Terra Hill is being the closest to Pasir Panjang MRT. Um, that's also very, another exciting point uh, that we should talk about. So, I think the last launch that is in Pasir Panjang that's near the MRT station was in 2014. Okay. So, it's about 10 years now, whereby Pasir Panjang is just 350 meters away, less than 4 minutes walk. As I mentioned, it's the gateway towards Greater Southern Waterfront. Yeah. 
If you look at a map at the back, you can see all the stations that are lined up along GSW. Mm. Um, I would say a large portion of Circle Line is meant and catered for GSW. Right. What is missing now? I would say that Circle Line has not reached its full potential because we still have three missing stations that to complete the loop. Yep. And the three stations are your Capo, your Cantonment, and your Prince Edward, which is along your Tanjung Maga terminus. Without this loop, the entire MRT line may not be as convenient because mm. you need to travel mm. a different area. So once the completion of these three stations where the loop will be completed in 2027, I believe the properties along Circle Line will appreciate greatly. Very interesting. So, so much of excitement about this area with the freehold status being backed up uh, with this whole transformation, this whole project. Um, the government pumping money into this area especially. Let's check out the model right now. So, standing right here at the model, it seems that from the looks of it, a um, very big land plot with very few units. Why is that so? So actually, that's a very good observation. Terra Hill is actually sitting on more than 200,000 square feet of land mm -hmm. with only 270 exclusive units of okay. two bedrooms to four, four bedrooms, bedrooms and including your five bedroom penthouses. Very nice. Now, what I really like about this is that it gives off a very resort feel, very, very different in character. We've done so many SRI New Home Showcase and this feels very different. Yes. Um, very, very up, down. What's, what's it called? Tell us a little bit more. So because Terra Hill is sitting on a hilly area, the undulating terrain that they're sitting on gives a lot of character to this yeah. development. What you see is not the usual flat area where you see all the facilities sprawling across the yeah, land. That's right. The different zones of facilities are located on different levels, different layers. That's why it feels so different. Yes, so which is why you see the blocks are all on different um, right, heights as well. Right, okay. So I think over time, when residents and tenants living within this development will feel the character of this development because you really have all the different nice little niche and alcoves around mm, mm. and I think this brings out the character in the development. The next thing is you can see that the architect and the developer has come up with a very nice timeless design Yes, I can um, that is suited for the large greenery and the nature that they are within. Right, with all the hills that are backing mm -hmm. at the southern regions. We can see that they have chosen very nice colour theme, yep. bronze colour whereby it fits the nature. Secondly, you have curtain glass walls that will make it timeless. Sure. At the same time, I think a lot of the materials like the perforated screens, some of the reinforced concrete has all been designed to look like high-end landed developments. Mm -hmm. And I think it suits very nicely because it's only five storeys high. It feels like what the materials that people will use yep. in GCBs and big bungalows. Oh, that's good to know. Yep. Now tell us a little bit more about where the bedrooms are located at. To summarise, we have two collections. The blocks of 22 and blocks of 18, they are all your signature collection okay. where you have your typical units of your two to four bedrooms and a sure. five bedroom penthouses over there. So the sizes are a bit more typical in that sense. Okay. We can look at the layout and how spacious it is. Yep. And then we have the very unique prestige collection at the back of block 20s. Mm. So these blocks are meant for the larger units where you have only two units per core. Okay. Right, and they are all single loading oh. where your air can actually circulate through very from nice. front to back. There are four bedrooms of larger sizes of more than 1,800 square feet and also your five bedroom penthouses. So with the vast land size of about 200,000 square feet, uh, do share with us a little bit more about where are the facilities, what are the kind of different zones we can expect uh, for Terra Hill? So I think in a very nice summary to mm. better understand the zones, we have a total of six zones. Sure. I think Terra Hill use their space quite a bit. And yep. I think in today's market, buyers actually prefer sufficient facilities, but yeah. yet big enough spaces and lawns for families to engage and move around. For sure. So in these six zones, what we have to start off with will be your arrival area. Uh, whereby it is very nice as the car drives through, um, the residential blocks are all elevated above ground. So there's a lot of privacy where people drive in and they don't get to see any of the facilities. It's very thoughtful, yeah? Yeah, very thoughtful. So, so it's a very nice drop-off area, very grand with mm. a tree in the middle. So as your guests drop off, they will move into the second zone. As they walk up the stairs, they will be greeted by a courtyard waterfall that is cascading down. And this is made only possible because of the undulating terrain yeah. that we are in. Right, so this is a very nice reception area. Mm. As they come into the third zone on my right, this is where we call the sanctuary. And sanctuary is where you have more of the physical activities located inside here. We have facilities such as your basketball court, the exercise lawn, and also your aqua gym. Then as we move to the back, that's where we call the alcove. And I think alcove is meant a lot for the kids. Uh... Yeah, where you have your playground with the slides. Sure. You also have slides that comes down from the undulating terrain yep. and of course a function room over there. Right. Then of course as we move into the middle part, the enclave. The enclave is where it is the heart of Terra Hill because that's where your 50 meter slab pool will be. Nice. Clubhouse will be located there as well. And I think I like the part about how the gym is integrated with a social space. 
whereby you can sit down, have your coffee after your workout or before your workout, mm-hmm. and it's integrated with the gym equipment around the area. Oh. I think the developer is trying to create a community space rather than just a hard cold facility that you have in normal condo. So mm-hmm. I think this integration is quite thoughtful. And of course, as we move on to the last part, Hillside will be mainly for family activities where you have your barbecue, pavilion and some of the family areas in that part. And so this will form up your nice six zones. Not too much, not too heavy, just sufficient with enough lawn to run around across the 200,000 square feet. Shared with only 270 units. You know what, I think it's beautiful to have these six zones, especially during this COVID period. Uh, This is something for you to look out for. Um, It's time now to check out the show unit. Uh, Let's check it out. Let's go. So uh, one of the three show units at Terra here, and this is a uh, two plus study eight zero seven square feet. So let's go check it out. So Isli, I'm going to just quickly show you all the main points yeah. that I love about this layout. Although this is an open concept kitchen, but as we always see two bedrooms, very seldom you can find yeah two sides two sides yeah. for a kitchen. Yeah. And although this is an open kitchen now, you can see that the layout has been designed in such a way that you can make it enclosable if you want to. Okay, makes right? a lot of sense. A glass yeah. sliding door over here would nicely enclose to prevent the smell coming out from cooking. As you move over here, you can see that we have a bomb shelter which double up as a storage and I think it's super important for today's compact units that we Mm -hmm. see around in Singapore. Very sizable toilet located here. The part I love about this 2 plus study is this study room. You can see that this study room is sizable such that I can put in a single bed. At the same time, a study desk by the side. Mm. There's aircon provided although that it doesn't come with a door but you can easily add on a door Right. And I would say that if you want to treat this as a three compact, you can easily treat this as a three bedroom. That's true. So I think this is a free upgrade for a lot of buyers who are looking at this size, three compact as a two plus study. Alright, welcome to the 3 bedroom, 1087 square feet. Uh, Ken, share with us your favourite points. As we move into this 3 bedroom, the main door is located here. Mm-hmm. What I like is that even if you open the door for ventilation, uh, there's a lot of privacy because it's an L shape before ah, you enter into yeah. the main unit area. And this L shape also gives enough space for your cabinetry to yeah. be here, your shoe rack, and a very nice display area to greet your guests as they come into your place. This kitchen is something that I like because nowadays we seldom find sizable kitchens mm in a three bedroom and you have a nice classy glass sliding door that's provided by the developer so if you are doing heavy cooking I think you can prevent all the smell from coming out as you are working within the kitchen they have also created a very nice glass panel so that when I'm standing here preparing the dishes I actually can look out and have full control of the dining area and the living area yeah, right so yeah. whether is it to entertain my guests or to look at my kids, kids yeah. I actually can look out yeah. right and of course this sizable kitchen part what we have is a very nice space of working left and right and in every unit this single panel of towel is being used where there's no lines in between so when it comes to cooking you don't have issues with the cleaning and I think it's not cheap to provide one huge piece of panel as a backsplash for the kitchen one thing I love about this are large window panels in your kitchen so actually you have a lot of natural light that comes in and a lot of natural ventilation in this in this part well before I forget instantly this is a display of a ground floor unit Ceiling height is slightly higher than the typical height. This is 3.55 meters. Mm. The penthouses on the top floor are actually double volume. Wow. Uh, but I think this is already good enough if you're a ground floor lover, especially generous. with the low density yeah. and the facilities that you get to enjoy yeah, if yeah. you're living on the ground floor. So I think this is quite a nice display for you to visualize. As you come along with me, you can see for the, for the three bedroom, with this walkway, they have created a very nice storage here. Like we always mention, walkways are usually unusable. Yeah. Uh, so now they have created a very nice uh, niche in this area where you have your storage, smart storage of your ironing boards, your vacuum cleaner, and now this walkway becomes usable. Right. So this is a very nice touch, and it comes with all the larger three bedrooms and above. So okay. your four bedrooms will have this storage as well. So if we move inside here, every master bedroom includes this vanity storage right. uh, with okay. a full-length mirror, and you can put all your vanity stuff inside nice. here. Um, but I think the most appreciated part of the master bedrooms in Terra Hill are the size. The size, right? yeah. So you can easily fit in a king-size bed. With the curtain glass wall, you have a lot of light coming in yep. into all rooms. 
You can even have a dresser table over here, mm -hmm. a side table, and still fit in a king-size bed. And that's the strength of the layouts in Terra Hill. So stepping out of our private lift, this is a four bedroom, 1894 square feet. Ken Shervis, what are your favorite stuff about this four bedroom? So the previous two layouts that we saw were from the signature collection. Yeah. So we are now talking, we are now in prestige. the prestige collection. So that's why you see this four bedroom is larger than the usual, okay. um, which is more than 1,000 square feet. Yeah. So that's the private lift yeah. that we came out from. Yeah. And this is your private lift lobby with all very tastefully done cabinetry mm -hmm, mm -hmm. within this whole area. If you look at the theme of the colour scheme and design of all the layouts that we saw, they are all actually very classy and yep. tastefully done, yep. which suits the entire facade of the building and the entire development concept. Mm. Right, so this four bedroom, amazing part is this entire area, usually you will find a living and dining, yeah. but this prestige collection, this entire portion of more than six meters is just your living area. Wow. Yeah, so like so we always nice. mentioned, this is the, the frontage that you get uh, for inter-terraces yeah. in Singapore, the landed housing. Yep. So six meters is one of the exact uh, depiction of a inter-terrace frontage that you get. So beautiful. Very generous space of living area, very good to host your friends and family yeah. in this area. Every unit in Terra Hill is provided with a ceiling fan that is nice in design and suits the entire concept. So other than the six meters living area, you have a nice eight-seater round table. Very nice, traditional for family um, that is seated here. And if you realize, you can't even find the rooms from where we are standing at. Yeah, I can. Right? So the entertainment part is all flushed very nicely on this area. Yep. This is the dry kitchen area that has a very nice circulation to where your dining area yep. is. You have your backsplash of um, your cabinetries where you can put your wine glasses, a sink over there, and of course, you have your fridge, your integrated fridge, your oven, your steam oven, um, your wine chiller is here. And then I like the part where they tuck the kitchen very nicely at the back, right? So it looks, you can close it up and you probably wouldn't notice that the it's kitchen is here. Yeah, but sure. as you enter into the kitchen, you realize how big this entire space is. You already have a very nice area of your cooking area a nice preparation area here with a separation of your yard and a bomb shelter at the back that will double up as a purpose room if you need to as you come into this area before we enter into the bedroom zones you actually have a very nice powder room over here where your guests can use as they are being entertained in the activity area and right at the back are where all the four bedrooms are located Now, we hope you like the tour of the show unit and of course, if you would like to find out a little bit more, uh, do hop on down to check out the rest of Terra Hill. Terra Hill is a very rare gem that we can find in today's market. Um, it being a freehold launch is already very rare. Yeah. Uh, in recent times, especially this year, the number of launches that we have, there are already very few freehold launches to begin with. And I think Terra Hill checks most of the boxes for all investors and homeowners alike. Being freehold, sitting on a more than 200,000 square feet of land with ample amenities, facilities, surrounded by some of Singapore's most important business nodes, walking distance less than four minutes walk to MRT station, and doorstep to Singapore's largest transformation, the Greater Southern Waterfront. So much of good stuff happening. So just to let you know, we are previewing on the 10th of February and it's going to be strictly by appointment basis only. Slots are running out pretty fast as always. And of course, if you would like to come down and check it out, do contact your preferred SRI salesperson. Once again, my name is Ainsley. I'm Peace Ken. Ken. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.